This is Gender Radio. Toronto Signet Oscar 1, valid 1 Niner 25 Zulu until 2325 Zulu. Toronto FIR, frequent thunderstorm observed within 4717 North, 08536 West to 4634 North, 08328 West to 4731 North. 08201 West to 4726 North, 07852 West to 4826 North, 08131 West to 4717 North, 08536 West, on right moving east, northeast, two five eight, Moncton Signet Mike 1, valid 1755 Zulu. So, this is the uh, Newfoundland, Canada Gander Volmet, V O L M E T. A Volmet, or um, it's, it's actually taken off of a, uh, f- a French word uh, for um, Vol Meteo. And uh, basically, uh, it's weather, a weather report uh, type bulletin that has all sorts of uh, information uh, about uh, the, you know, um, weather above the um, affected area where aircraft will be flying. Of course, Gander has the air traffic control for the North Atlantic uh, with New York uh, for the uh, east coast of North America. And so, of course, the information here will be of different airports and also of the flight conditions. So uh, they have things like uh, SIGMET, like, which is significant meteorological, meteorological information uh, with weather advisory, stuff like that. Uh, so all sorts of inf- information that aircraft can use and, you know, avoid, uh, for example, turbulence. They might be listening and checking this out. Um, you know, it's not clear. I'd like to know how much of today's aircraft actually use the HF uh, weather information. Um, they probably have other means of getting that same information. Now, aircrafts and the air traffic control still has a big share of shortwave uh, in, over the Atlantic and over the oceans because shortwave propagates well. We know that is going to be phased out eventually, but um, I always wondered you know, how much of importance these stations have. Um, 10 zero five one here that you have, we have uh, several frequencies for uh, Gander, Newfoundland. Used to be shared with New York Radio, which also gave weather, and they were alternating every 20 minutes. Uh, New York abandoned its weather forecasts. So it's either that they thought, you know, it's not useful information anymore, or um, I don't know. It's it's kind of interesting. So the uh, Volmet networks uh, divide the world into world into specific regions and individual Volmet stations in each region, broadcasting weather reports for specific groups of air terminals in the region and specific regions. And, of course, you have some in Europe that we hear here in North America, like uh, the uh, Shannon, Ireland. Uh, there's the Royal Air Force One for the, um, the uh, same purpose, but for military purpose. Uh, here in Canada, we also have Trenton Military that gives that information for um, the military uh, in Canada. So, kind of interesting. And um, they um, are every... Um, 20th minute and 50th minute. So if you're listening to Gander, it'll be at the 20th minute and the 50th minute, and it lasts 10 minutes. So, for example, the bulletin will stop in less than a minute from now. And there you have the station that stopped as we're getting at the top of the hour, you see here. Now, 
is going to be back in 20 minutes at 2120 UTC and so on. So uh, every hour you have it at, say, 020 UTC, 050 UTC, or 120 UTC, or 150 UTC. And it repeats itself 24 hours a day. I'll post the different frequencies in the uh, description below where uh, you can try and listen to Gander, Newfoundland, Canada weather. And um, this was kind of, I uh, wanted to kind of do a little introduction for those that wonder, you know, what what's this station? What does it do? What is it used for? And uh, at its basics, it's weather information for aircraft uh, over the different uh, airports in the Atlantic in this case, uh, uh, Atlantic um, routes where planes will be flying. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.